to work on a kickstand for this thing. The old one. Hot garbage. It's been modified and it, along with everything else on the bike and it, it's just, it's a piece of crap. So I wanna come up with something that's clean, unique, and functional. Uh, and something I don't spend like 16 days on. So I want to just start figuring something out, but I do think I'm gonna just chop this thing up just to just because maybe I can use the pivot or something like that I don't I don't know but we'll probably end up making something entirely from scratch and figure it out as we go but for now I'm gonna chop this thing up and start maybe holding things to the bike and figure out my you know maybe where a pivot might work and and whatnot so that's what we're gonna do now all right here is the plan thus far so I have been eyeballing these little ears on the CX500 and GL series bikes. I've been eyeballing these ears for a, a while. I've actually built a uh, scrambler that utilized these ears for mounting a skid plate to it. And I want to use this again. I feel like it's kind of um, the only real usable tab on, on the engine. So I want to get away from having the kickstand way back here. Um, I want to put it directly under the bulk of the weight of the bike and do it in a less, uh, you know, like do it in a better looking way. So what I want to do is I want to bring down two, two plates and I'm going to build a, or have a crossbar that goes, that goes across and ties into the opposite ear. And then from there, I'm going to basically build like another kickstand system. So another another attach point and then I'll build a I'll uh I'm work talking with a friend right now but I'll I'll have a new end made um to act as a act as a pivot and then basically we'll be kind of like in this direction maybe about down here and we'll just swing out be like just like a normal kickstand it'll be positioned directly under the weight under the the weight of the bike and uh I think that'll work good so we'll have a lot of structure um i just want to tie into both pieces just to add any kind of rigidity and just that little peace of mind there so i yeah that's what i want to do i figure you know i was a little bit worried about maybe taking some of the focus away from the the linkage but i gotta think it's like the only time you're gonna be looking at the linkage is if it's parked and the kickstand's gonna be down at that point so yeah i think that'll work so um one thing I'm gonna do, probably really unnecessary here, but the cross the cross piece I'm gonna make is going to be uh, some three quarter inch square tube, and I want to tuck it up pretty tight to the engine. So to do that, I need to actually trim the oil pan just just a bit. Um, the GL 650s have an oil pan, and it has this uh, front section that's like kind of just floating out into space. It's got like a big overhang before it does anything. And I understand it's kind of like it's some webbing and a little bit of like a cooling fin, but I'm going to trim off like maybe a little bit over a quarter inch off of that. And uh, that'll let me uh, put a square tube like right up against this and just make a nice rigid piece. And then from there, I'm actually going to tie in another bracket to the bottom of the oil pan. I'll extend two bolts here. So that'll keep everything from twisting. So now I got to build it. That's gonna be fun. Okay, here's where I'm at with the um, kickstand I'm doing here. So I have a three quarter inch square crossbar. This is gonna tie into the, the tabs that are on either side of the case. And then these are just four tabs. Um, I'm using 14 gauge. I'm gonna to try to beef this up because I want it to be strong and not twist or anything like that. Anyway, this is gonna tie in the left to the right just to just to add strength it's probably unnecessary but i'd like to overbuild it rather than underbuild it there's going to be a uh, another tab from the crossbar to the oil pan which i'll show uh, i still have to make that but i'll show that and then um 
yeah so for right now I'm gonna go ahead and get this mock back up on the bike and then I'll weld um, start tacking everything in place and then from there I can start mocking up the uh, the actual pivot and the mounts for the kickstand itself so that's where I'm going for <laughs> All right, so here's what we got going on. I have this bracket tacked up and obviously uh, mounted in place now. So I want to extend a pivot. Think of this as the pivot. Um, I want to put a pivot about right here. And I want to have it pretty steep um, because if you can imagine, you're not gonna be able to see this, but uh, the steeper I make it, I can actually get away with a relatively short kickstand. So it's gonna be sitting level about about like that whenever it's uh, not in use so anyway i want to bring the pivot you know out or back a little bit and then down a little bit that way i can mount a spring over here because it has to actually work as a kickstand so i've made some templates here and you can kind of see how the angle can change so i have a top and a bottom all right now like I said, I've brought I've brought the pivot point out a little bit. That way, I can align a spring, and I'm lining it up with uh, so I can weld this seam right here because I don't want to add. I mean, I, I want to make this as strong as possible, but I don't want to just continually box and gusset and add material to make it strong uh, because that adds weight. So I'm trying to keep this relatively light. So if I if I bring this down to about here angle it then I have a seam right there to weld to so that's gonna give me strength and uh, then I can weld I have a long a long bead there to build strength into and then same thing for the back here you know I can weld along both planes and then pinching it together uh, obviously with with the hardware and the actual pivot piece that's you know that's gonna add strength too so what I'm going to do now is transfer these to some 3 16 uh, I am going to go with a little thicker piece on that one, and we will start getting that made. See what I did wrong here? All right, so I'm gonna let this thing cool down and then I have the brackets cut, mocked up with a spacer, socket or whatever. I got, a, I have a the spacing set, everything's clearanced. So once this cools down a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get that tacked up and then put this back on the bike. Another beautiful soggy day in Missouri. So, anyway, working on the kickstand and I have my tabs welded up here for the bottom to uh, bring it, you know, tied into the, uh, the tabs on the engine. So now I'm gonna work on the uh, mount for the bottom here and I'm going to extend uh, two little arms basically back into the oil pan mount and then it'll just be just a simple flat steel bracket with a couple like a slight bend in it just to kind of level itself out but I went ahead and I drew it up on some steel I actually ran out of uh, ran out of my CAD so no more cardboard right now until I go out and buy some anyway drew it out 
and you can see I've got my holes marked so it's just gonna have two ears coming out and then this will be the part to bolt to the oil pan and then this section here I'll just weld but it should work fine I'm gonna go ahead and get it drilled get it cut start bending it up and then uh, get it mocked up The screws down here are what's going to keep this whole assembly from twisting or resisting that twist whenever it's on the stand. It's probably, you know, could potentially be a little overkill or maybe even a lot of overkill, but I'd rather do it this way than the other way. There it is. We'll have something along these lines here. Pivot down, and we'll have a stand. Simple as that. All right, guys, we're back on the kickstand here, and you're probably wondering why the footage has all of a sudden jumped from months ago to now, and that's just because I needed to build this bracket before I painted the engine and all that stuff because I didn't want to do any fabricating while it was on here. So I needed a mock-up around the kickstand and it wasn't that important that I finished the entire job at the time. So I didn't really worry about it, but now we're at the point where I need a kickstand and we're going to go ahead and finish this up. So as you've seen, I have the whole mount on here tied into the ears on the engine and then tied into two oil pan bolts or two oil pan mounting bolts here. I went ahead and put a stud in there, that way I can get this off without pulling the exhaust because I can't get the bolts out. Long story. Slight oversight. But we have a, a, just a pivot in here that my friend made, and then I just have, uh, I think this is a 7 8 diameter bar, or tubing I should say, and we'll just lay this in here about like that. I'll end up trimming it about right here, I think that's where it's going to lay. And then I'll have a pivot, or I mean, I'll have like a, a mount for a spring on both of these, so it'll operate just like a normal one. I'll have to engineer a, uh, a stopper into this somehow, like whether it be back here or whatnot, some kind of pad. Probably even put a pad right there. We'll figure that out. And then I'll do like a little kick pad here, that way you can reach it with your foot. It should swing down nice, give us a nice little clean looking kickstand, and it should, you know should clear the shift linkage whenever I get it dialed in. So simple enough, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on it.
All right, that about does it for this thing. I think that turned out really good. This is nice and clean. It's pretty, it's really sturdy and uh, it's, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. So we can uh, check this thing out here. The uh, kicks or the shock bushing just, you know, makes contact with the bottom of the engine there. There's no interference anywhere. There's not gonna be any interference with your toes. It stays up nice. It's not overly hard to pull or, you know, pull down or pull up. And then there's a good bit of pressure there. So it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna like rock back or anything like that. But yeah, really, really happy with how that thing turned out. So been a long process, but yeah, here we are. This thing can finally be like, it, you gotta think, this whole time I've been building this bike, it hasn't had a kickstand. So it's been almost two years where I've had to keep it on a table or with my wheel chalk over there. And now it's like, it's like independent now. And oh yeah, it's like, it's got its driver's license or something. I don't have to, I don't have to baby it or, or like keep, you know, keep tabs on it while it's like leaning on something. I can just, I can park it with my new kickstand. So it's got, a, it's got freedom now. Really excited about it. Anyway, hopefully, Hopefully you guys can kind of understand how I made that. And uh, yeah, if you want to make your own, have some fun with it, you know, improve upon it. Do what you think maybe I, uh, I, I missed or if there's anything I got wrong, I don't know. But yeah, hopefully this helps and inspires you guys to get out and shop and make something of your own. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.